questions on the big win. Uh, just kind of talk about tonight. It seemed like it was a fun night for everybody. Everyone's scoring. You broke the school record for three pointers. It was a space game, cool jerseys. Uh, what did you think about tonight? Uh, I think tonight was great. You know, um, recently we were preaching about uh, connecting plays, and I think we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we had uh, 26 assists or something like that. Yeah, 28 assists, and we only had three turnovers. So that's been big. Coach has been preaching this less turnovers, more assists, and I feel like we're finally connecting again. Were you guys aware that you were close to the record, around the record, broke the record at all until they announced it? Or did you know about that? Or uh, They had mentioned They said we were two threes away, and then we broke it. So What is that? Shooting performance do for you guys? Oh, um, well, it, it gives us uh, a lot of confidence. You know, what I'm saying like we we know we know we can shoot the ball. You know, what I'm saying coach told us over and over again like you know we got we got good offense. We know we can shoot the ball, and it just you know say it just adds to like our confidence. Is that the message from Johnny? Just shooting the ball. I mean, there was a point where you guys actually missed five in a row early. What's the mentality of shooting threes? I mean, we got a lot of shooters on our team, so we always got to keep shooting. You know, I know I trust my guys. I know everyone has put the reps in, so I mean, it's a game of percentages. So I, I trust every time they shoot the ball. Back to back strong defensive performances, two games in a row now. What's been working on? Uh, I just feel like we had to get back to that defensive mindset. You know, our defense trained us into our offense. So once we lock in on defense, that creates our offense and transition, you know, get into the uh, paint, uh, kicking the others, and create our connected plays. I know it had kind of been a tough stretch with the injuries and everything else, so, but the end of, of Wichita, the way you guys you know battled back and won that game, how much of a boost was that game, you know, that result coming into this one? Uh, I feel like that result was great because, um, for one, we've never beat them since Coach Dawkins has been here at Wichita State, so that's always good, um, especially a road win after losing five straight. So that that kind of got us back on our back on our feet. You know, coming to this game, it was a home game. We la lost the last home game here, so we didn't have to win. Three turnover guys, you, you guys mentioned about playing clean basketball. What is it that you guys saw out there on the, you know, on the floor that, hey, we, we didn't create that many, I mean, we didn't uh, commit that many turnovers. What, how can you guys translate that uh, going forward? Um, I would just say we got actually something posted on our wall in the practice room just to keep it simple. I mean, I feel like we just hit the open guys and the other guy makes up open play, so. You've, ha you've had Michael Durr out for a little while. Now you guys have kind of gotten back to just keeping opponents under 70. How have you guys managed to adjust on both defense and offense without having him on the court? Uh, I feel like uh, the message for the past few practices was, you know, heating guys up, uh, making guys uncomfortable, um, and then just getting back to our defensive principles, being in the gaps, uh, talking. You know, you'd be surprised how much, you know, talking helps you on defense. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's no miscommunication. Uh, guys are supposed where they're supposed to be. We're talking and we're more sure on defense. So. You know, just getting back to what, I mean, that's that's what we've been doing. You know what I'm saying? We kind of got away from that a little bit, and we lost five in a row. So we just getting back to what we've been doing. And then that number 28 assists, you know, you mentioned it earlier. Just how important does that number jump out at you in the stats? I mean, that's, I mean, that's amazing. You know, like Coach said the, um, the other day, we usually we got get around 15, 17 assists. We win like 90% of our games. So to see that we had 28 assists tonight and we won by 40, I mean, that's just great. It's just it's gonna build our connecting plays down the stretch. You know, we're trusting one another again. So I feel like it's great, especially moving forward, going to deep conference, late conference time. So, what did you think of the Citrona space uniforms? I thought they were great. I love them. Yeah, well, I definitely love to play in these again. You know, to get the opportunity. Well, we also had the 501st Legion coming out tonight. A little bit of a Star Wars theme to this space game. What, uh, how be how are you guys a big fans of Star Wars? And what was it kind of like to see some of those costumes out there today? Um, I like the I like the theme, the uh, the costumes, but I'm I ain't gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Well I mean if it's on, like and I'm watching it with somebody, I ain't gonna lie, it's barely really interesting, but like I am not like a really well, Star I would, Wars guy either. Uh, well I'd say the biggest cheer of the night though ended up actually coming when Pooh managed to make hit that shot there at the end of the game. I mean it felt like they were gonna bring the uh, bring the arena down right there. Can you talk about what Pooh has meant to this team? And I saw you guys going nuts out there too when he made it. Uh Pooh's great, you know, um he, he's a great walk on. He comes into practice every day. He, he just brings, he goes hard as he can. I mean, you can't you can't ask for more. He's pushing the guys who are playing all the minutes. So he's he's doing his part. He's playing his role. He he knows he's not going to play as much, but even when the time does come, he he produces every single time. He gives it all. Darius, how are you feeling? You know, coming back already from three or four games back back from injury. How are you feeling? Uh, coming back. 
Uh, I'm feeling better, you know, each and every day is a process. You know, I just gotta make sure I get my treatment, uh, make sure I'm strengthening my foot as much as possible. So, just doing what I can to stay healthy. What, what does this game do for you guys mentally now that you've gotten this back-to-back -back wins? You're gonna go back out and face Memphis. Of course, you had that double overtime throw with them. What do you think this team needs to do in order to get the win now on the road this time against them? Uh, just keep the same mindset, the defense. You know, if we lock in on defense, our offense will come. We have a lot of offensively skilled guys. We have a great defensive team, so if we lock in on defense, that's going to transition to our offense. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, fellas. Appreciate it. Have a good